Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day is you're watching this. Thank you for joining us on another video. This is a day out. It's actually occurred um, a few months back now, but been a bit busy, so I uh, haven't had time to upload it yet. So as lots of our days, they begin for me personally in, uh, in the early mornings down in deepest, darkest Kent, down our little country lane and out onto the, the motorway network. So uh, today I'm heading down to Torquay from Dover. So it's, a, it's about a five hour drive or so um, if I was to do it with a, with a short stop. Door to door to Exeter services, normally about four hours for me. Um, so here we are out onto the uh, M20 and then onto the M26, M25, M3 nip into fleet services for uh, normally a wee and a coffee and then uh, down the A303 and on to the A was it the A380 I think that, that heads down to Torquay way um, and we pitch up outside our first inspection of the day. I right, just arrived down in Torquay this is a uh, project we're doing for a fire start in the first floor front bedroom of a house uh, roof's got to come off uh, roof covering not the structure and um, yeah, it's our first site visit, so they, sh they should have made good progress with the roof. And we'll see how things are going. Site visit of roof being re recovered. This is a fire damaged property. So there was uh, extensive damage inside, but not much structural damage to the roof. It was mainly to the first floor bedrooms, but there was enough damage to the underside of the felt to warrant uh, a replacement roof being popped on. So it's been stripped to the back, Tyvek underlay is installed, 50 with 25 buttons and uh, we've got our 500 by 250 natural slate to go back on. It's probably be Spanish slate, it's about, I don't know, 120 a slate or so, whereas um, Welsh slate, which is far superior, is something like 7 or 8 pounds per slate now, so a significant increase. So now on to inside of the property, we're looking at the damaged timbers to see what else needs to be taken out. One there's been removed, so I should imagine that was really quite bad. Um, plaster has pretty much taken off the wall, some charring to the floor joists, that, sorry, the floor boards that need to be replaced. Um, for some reason, a little bit of skirting there has been, been retained. Um, door liners obviously need to be taken out because they're all burnt through. Um, and this internal wall here is a uh, non low bearing wall. Normally the front uh, and rear walls in a property would be, um, the, sorry, the front and rear bedrooms would be supported by a low bearing wall, but, but this one isn't. Um, and at high level, we can see here that the ceiling joist spans side to side, so there's actually no lateral brace into this wall. So it was really quite wobbly. Put in some temporary support, but we ended up taking this wall out uh, and rebuilding it in stud work. Okay, site visit done in Torquay. Now I'm off to look at some external wall issues at two properties. One's in Somerset, I don't know where it is. The place begins with H, I think. Uh, then up to Bristol afterwards. So having all done on that site visit, now it's up to, found out the place name, it's called Highbridge. Never been there before. And in fact, I've now only been there once in my life. So it's just south of Burnham-on-Sea, just north of Bridgewater. So out onto the A381, um, eventually joined the A380 at or around... Um, Newport, no, what's it called? Uh, Newton Abbott, and then uh, wiggle up to um, Exeter, join the M5, and then probably 45 minutes or so up the M5 until I come off at Highbridge. So, this is a, a wall inspection. We're doing quite a few of these over the course of the last year or so. Um, some houses have been coated in, in this so called specialist wall coating, which I am going to do another video on, and had no issues whatsoever. Other properties, it's been uh, sprayed onto solid wall properties that need to breathe, and it's caused no end of problems for for the owners. So uh, we'll pop into Highbridge and see uh, what kind of issues, if any, is caused on the next one. So this property in Highbridge, looking at the rear of the property, which has been sprayed in this grey textured coating uh, paint, okay for cavity walls, but less so for solid walls. And we can see there's various areas where it's just peeled straight off the wall. It's a thick plastic texture paint. It's really not good for properties, um, particularly solid wall buildings, flaking off everywhere down there. They've sprayed it over the flashings here um, and it's just peeling off the wall all over the place. 
few damp issues inside this house um, unsurprising given this plastic wrap on the outside that's been provided um, and just there we can see where it's been put um, below damp proof course as well so uh, really not good totally unsuitable for this kind of installation and really the only thing that can be done on a property like this is to uh, is to take it off so once we're all done we are back into the car so this time out of high bridge and back onto the m5 but it's a relatively short run up to bristol where i've got to do a uh, quick inspection well not a quick inspection but another relatively quick inspection on another wall coating job um, in bristol before i shoot into wales for the evening so our instructions are to inspect this lovely mid terrace property stone construction with dress stone coins and banding courses as we can see on the left our house is the one on the right here that's been sprayed with one of these horrible textured coatings um, that's sold as being you know wonderful it keeps the house warm in the winter cool in the summer it keeps water out it's breathable um it's absolutely everything it's a it's a plastic paint coating now uh, you can see here at low level various places is that it's failed it's been sprayed over cables and it's starting to peel away <clears throat> around the windows um it, again it's failing it, it's peeling away from the the sills letting water into the property this would have probably left water into property originally but being natural stone with lime mortar joints that moisture had um, the ability to come back out of the walls through through the breathability but putting a plastic coating on the wall is like wearing a, a plastic anorak and then doing exercise it's just that moisture is not going to go anywhere it's just going to saturate the wall more and more and more until we've got a damp problem inside which which is exactly what's happened here um, in addition to the, the the problems of the building this stuff is missold majorly and we've done a lot of inspections of this over the last year or so that it all the different um, claims that it has and one of those is a 25 year guarantee yet this has failed and it's it's less than five years old so once the internal and external inspections finished on the way back to the van um, just looking along the terrace and these are some lovely old properties and the, our one that we've inspected has just been ruined by this coating so back in the car now um, out onto the m5 um, got to head into to South Wales to stay over because we've got a few more inspections to do over this way uh, the following day. So uh, I do get to drive a lot in this job, so it's nice to have a, a comfy car or a van. Um, and here we are just popping over the Prince of Wales Bridge on the M4 now into South Wales. Morning, this is uh, day two of being out and about the office for a few days. So I'm down in Ponty, Ponty Clun in South Wales. Um, which I think is at the bottom of the Rhondda Valley, not entirely sure. Um, yeah, so I've got to do a wall inspection here first of all, and then I'm going down to Minehead to meet a loss of justice surveyor on a fire damage listed building. So uh, off we go. Okay, so arrival at the first inspection of the day. This is a another spray coating job. Um, this was a rendered bungalow originally, and this textured coating has been uh, sprayed onto the outside, uh, a very close up here. And we can see this starting to fail all over the place um, and you may have seen on the zoom in the zoom out how it's discoloring and down the side of the property sprayed over all the pipes which is normal because it's obviously too much effort to mask over some pipes and um, they're trying to make their money too quick to get out and um, you can see here the horrendous staining to the wall and where it's been sprayed over the the soil pipe and and failing all over the place so another very poor install so all done back out onto the motorway network again uh, back down the m4 it was just one inspection in wales today so m4 m5 and then the a39 i think it is that takes me out to minehead i included a bit of this on the video um i did a few months back i'm meeting a loss of justice surveyor here today this is quite normal on a claim that we're acting for the that suffered the loss and the insurers will have their own surveyors uh, or their own loss adjusters appointed and in turn their own surveyors to come out and uh, and have a look and cross check what we're doing don't have an issue with that at all most of the guys and girls are, are quite reasonable and they can see where we're coming from so what we'll do is just have a quick um, quick look around the property so into the living room this is uh, just here i think is where the fire started as we can see we've got floor joists that are burnt the whole way through just here we can see up on the end 
and this fella here that's completely gone. That's the underside of the floor joist above. We do have a, uh, a board, an insulation arrangement above the um, above the ceiling, so they've fitted this uh, this false ceiling effectively between the the floor joists. You can see the uh, fittings there for the old lard and plaster that have originally been installed to the ceiling. So fire damage here is quite bad. This wall's completely gone. Uh, as has a lot of the uh, fixtures and fittings downstairs into the kitchen. Obviously, quite badly damaged door there, and the kitchen is again pretty much a uh, pretty much a total loss, including ceilings and uh, fixtures and fittings around here. So all this will be stripped out and renewed. We have to the back of the property a staircase. It takes us up through to the landing. It's quite a quirky layout this property, and then. You can see heavy charring of all the, uh, the roof timbers up there. This has been a lot worse, I think, since I was last here. And again, we can see charring to the floor, uh, to the rafters, to the ceiling joists, and uh, fiberboard ceiling linings. So all this needs to be stripped out and started again. We can't go too far in this room because we don't have a floor in that corner but we can see significant damage right the way throughout here so we've put in listed buildings application for this it's pretty much is a full strip out start again including a new roof the roof actually includes I'm not sure I'll be able to see it I can't go too far it includes this big substantial oak beam with some purlins and the rafters are on the purlins which in turn supported on this beam so that is heavily damaged and needs to be replaced and then out the back of the property we have a ladder it's appeared from somewhere that might be because next door's um doing their their repairs and into the rear addition um bathroom of the property so we've got holes through the roof where the uh the asbestos testing has been done and all where the fire brigade have pulled their way through I can't remember that, I don't think that was there last time I came uh, I would have remembered that, but normal plasterboard ceiling and, uh, and damage that's been caused post fire and then I'll look at the back of the property and get some video of that perhaps later OK, uh, all done with the loss of justice surveyor, that went well, he's agreed with everything in our schedule a uh, couple of small emissions like uh, storage heaters that I need to add in uh, so I'll get the drawings updated on this one and then we're ready to uh, to get out to tender so now for a five hour drive home <laughs>